Hey guys, in this video I would like to show you how to modify your TX-03 with a linear antenna, also called whip antenna. You may want to do this for a couple of reasons. In my case, I am a little bit afraid to break off the circular polarized antenna on my whoop without protection for it. But you might want to strip the last grams of your build. Bear in mind that you are basically trading video reception for weight. I made a before and after test in my flat and you can not notice a difference. Building a whip antenna is pretty straightforward and you will only need the following items. Coaxial cable. You can use RG178, which is a bit thinner than the RG316 I am using here. But it is important that it has an impedance of 50 ohms. As usual, if you get it in bulk, you can save a bit. Some heat shrink, color of your choice. Something to measure length. I find that with a caliper the process is the most simple. If you do not have, treat yourself to a decent pair of calipers. Snips to trim the shield. A pen to mark length and a utility knife to cut off the insulation. Coax cables have multiple layers. Starting from the inside, the center core, followed by an insulator, then the shield and another insulator. To build a whip antenna, we simply need to cut the outer insulation and the shielding to expose the insulated center core with a certain length. To know how long the exposed part of the antenna has to be, we need to calculate the wavelength. Radio signals are electromagnetic signals and travel with the speed of light. To get the wavelength, we simply divide the speed of light by the frequency, which is in our case 5.8 GHz. This gives us a length of about 5.2 cm, a bit long for an FPV antenna, but we can use fractions of the wavelength and luckily for us the efficiency is best at a quarter. So we divide by 4 and are left with a final length of 12.92 mm for our exposed part. So let's start with the antenna build. I'm adjusting my calipers to about 25 mm and mark the coax cable. I find it easier to strip more of the shielding and then cut the core to length. I use my utility knife to cut through the outer layer of insulation. Best hold down the cable with the knife and roll the cable without applying too much pressure to the knife. Slip off the outer insulation. Spread and cut the shield until you are left with a clean core insulation. It is important to make sure that all wires are removed and that the core is not touching the shield at any point. The core and core insulation are still intact. The shield is cut back as clean as possible. I now adjusted the calipers to 12.9 mm and using the backside to mark and cut the core to final length. Still slightly too long. Looking good now. Apply the heat shrink. I always use a lighter, but you can use hot air if you prefer not to have burn marks on your heat shrink. Remove the original antenna. I use the whole tip of my soldering iron to heat up the pad since it is fairly big and the antenna falls right off. Final cleanup and the cam is ready for its new antenna. The core will be attached to the small pad and the shield to the big pad on top. Make sure not to shorten them out while soldering the antenna. Check how long you want your new antenna to be, just don't make it too long. Cut it to length. Strip the outer insulation, but this time do not cut the shield. Instead split the shield into two strands and align them left and right of the core. A little bit like cross. Make sure you have no loose strands. Short test fitting to make sure the insulation of the inner core is short enough so that everything aligns. Thin the ends of your antenna. Test fit and bend everything into its place. 
This is a little bit back and forth until everything is as I want it to be. As last step I bend the core and cut it along the outer insulation so everything stays flush once mounted on the board. Time to solder the new antenna. I start by thinning the small pad and solder the core to it. After the core is soldered, only the shield is left and luckily that pad is pretty generous. After a little bit of antenna shaping, this is what my TX-03 looks like. I am now a little bit less afraid to break the PCB of the cam. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Also feel free to like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it.